Hello. Oh. Hello, welcome in. Hello. I'll pop that open real quick. We are back. Back in Galar. Uh, last time we played, we did all the DLC. Not the, no, not the DLC. We're doing the DLC today. Today we're starting the DLC. But last time we played, we did all of the post game. Got all that done. So, just before I uh, just before I started stream, I popped open Cerebi because whenever I whenever I stream Pokemon, I always have like Cerebi open to the side, right? And I I remembered I saw that it said like oh later today the 18th type is gonna be released. And I'm like oh cool. For, for like the uh, Miku thing with Project Voltage. I'm like, oh, cool, it's gonna be, you know, Noivern. So I go on my phone, I open Twitter. Wait a minute. That's not a Noivern. And for some reason, they gave her Maridon. I was not expecting Maridon. Like, it was probably the last Pokemon I expected. Well, probably not the last one, but it definitely wasn't up there. And we're just gonna hop right into the, the Isle. The train to the Isle of Armor has arrived. This is an armor pass, please board the train. Hello, you weird top hat dude. Hello. Do you have an armor pass? Naturally, I've made all the proper preparations which you can observe with your unclouded eyes. My dude. Hello, Slowpoke. Slow. Hmm, to meet a, a Slowpoke, such a thing is simply elegant. Uh oh, looks like another one's gone on the train ridden over from the Isle of Armor. So here's my question about Slowpoke. Whenever. So he says the Slowpoke got on the train and rode over from the Isle of Armor. Don't you have to fly from the Isle of Armor? Wouldn't it would have been noticed? Like what? Wait, are we healed? Oh, we are not healed. We didn't heal from that last hop fight. Okay. Uh, go Pokeball. Oh, we should get more Pokeballs too. But yeah. It says it rode over on the train from the Isle of Armor. However, in order to ride over from the Isle of Armor, it needs to have flown over on the Corviknight uh, thing. On the, Cor on the uh, Corviknight taxi. Gotten off the taxi, and then climbed onto the train. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, I just started yawning. But... Yeah, why? I mean, it, it makes it a good teaser for the DLC, but still. Thanks much. Slowpoke can be a big troll to move sometimes. Hmm, how interesting. I'm not going to give him that voice. I must say, your catching style is quite simply elegant. You just threw balls. I we apologize for the wait. We have checked your armor pass. I'll board the train to the Isle of Armor. Mind your step when boarding. Thank you. Understood. Okay, before we go and actually do a more healing and more Pokeballs, I'm heading to an island called the Isle of Armor. I heard it's a place where one can catch rare Pokemon and do lots of training. Perhaps we shall meet again sometime. Well then, please excuse me. Interesting. He's an interesting fellow. I wonder if we'll ever see him again. Alright, Pokemon Center. Right to the Pokemon Center. Hello, not you. In here. Yeah, I saw the Project Voltage thing. I was not expecting, you know, Maridon of all Pokemon. We said Boltund. 
I'm gonna ride out with Boltund. What can we sell? Do we, do we even have anything we'd sell? No. No, we do not. How much money do we have? 206. Okay. We should be fine. Grab a bunch of balls. That should be fine. Two. I'm gonna grab some more healing stuff because we are very desperate on healing. Especially you, four stores. You could have used some of you. I'm gonna grab 55 of those. Oh, that's like all our money. That's fine. Alright, we're good. Now we ride. Hello, I have a pass I need to show you. Well, it's an armor pass. With that, you can go to the Isle of Armor. You have a crown pass, too. You can also go to the Crown Tundra. Where would you like to go today? We have both, we have both our DLCs, but we're going to go to the Isle of Armor first. Because that, that came out first. Like, look at this. You take a train to this train station, and then you fly to the Isle of Armor. There's no way a slowpoke is doing that. But anyways, welcome to the Isle of Armor. It is time. <sighs> Hello. Oh my god. <sighs> is this your first visit to the Isle of Armor? I'm researching Pokemon biology here on this island. You want to register the Pokemon you catch in this island in your Pokedex, right? I'll update your Pokedex so you can do just that. Well, I'll thank you. When you've caught a lot of Pokemon in the Isle of Armor, come back and show me your Pokedex. Probably not. Anyways, story time. I'm supposed to join the dojo on this island today, but... There's a strange person standing outside the station, or I'm a bit scared to head out. Anyways, hello you, it's almost like we were, like, just met. We just met, oh my god, I wonder who this is. Hmm, you're the traveler, I'm supposed to guide him, alright? Exactly when we agreed to meet, too. Quite the commendable peculiarity. Hmm, I have the strangest feeling we've met before. But I can't recall. Here I thought I needed a slowpoke move. My name is Avery. I'm a senior member of the dojo you were to join. Ah, uh, yeah, you got the wrong person, homie. You're here to join the master dojo, aren't you not? I also train there. I know that's not us. My goodness, this is a thick one. Poor lost Wulu. It's up to me, as an elegant adult, to make sure they get the message. Perhaps a show of strength is the best way to get to know each other. I'll wait outside. Once you're ready, come out and face me. I'm gonna show him who the better trainer is. Bro, you threw us under the bus. And of course, he's like, hey, why don't you join the dojo instead? I guess we're doing that. And welcome to the Isle of Armor. Slowpo. Slowpo. Hmm, is this your first visit to the Isle of Armor? You would no doubt like to run around and explore freely, but first, let's make sure you can handle yourself. Naturally, as a member of the Master Dojo, I'll be using my psychic powers to test your strength. Come now, don't overexert yourself. But Avery's got a good beat. Shows what true power looks like, bro. I'm just bopping to your theme, my dude. Also, Abra? No, thank you. You're facing down the Pokemon League champion. The Galar region's unbeatable champion. I definitely didn't lose to Hop.
When did I get beat down in my last Pokemon? Did you take the notes to saw me? No, bro, you would be asleep. Maybe Psychokinesis, right? No. I don't think so. Goodbye, Slowpoke. So I woke up today around, like, about an hour ago in all honesty, like 12, 11. Because usually I wake up around like 11 o'clock exactly, so I have enough time to like, get up, get ready, prepare for the stream and everything, do what I need to do, eat. But no, for some reason I just slept like way longer than I usually do. I don't know if I was just like exhausted or something, but like I went to bed like actually I went to bed earlier than usual. So I don't know why I just like slept like so much longer. I only got just it's like nine, almost ten hours of sleep. That was that's so I went to bed around three. Yeah, roughly three o'clock. Usually I go to bed around 4 or 4.30, and I wake up at 11. But yeah, that, was, that is just a lot of weird sleep. Anyways, welcome to the Isle of Armor. And there is our big lad over there. Wait, what was that? Is that... Yeah, Jigglypuff. I think I was, that was Jigglypuff I was hearing. Okay. There's the big lad out there. That is one of the strongest wild Pokemon you can ever find in the game. Waylord. Right. Let's make our way over to the dojo. We got a lot of new Pokemon we're seeing. I'm just gonna see what this is. It's a Gardevoir. Okay. He'll pass. I was hoping to... Chumsy. If we see a Chansey, we have to beat it. That's just free experience. Plus level 60 Chansey? How can you not? Goodbye. And these Chansey are, the, are stronger than the ones that you find in uh, Scarlet and Violet. The ones you find in Scarlet and Violet at the bottom of Area zero are only level 55. I think the ones in Alola. Uh, well, actually, speaking of Alola, real quick. De, de, Diglett. Oh, Diglett, you're here. Haha, -ha, you little rascal! I was worried about you. Thank you for finding my Diglett. Is it from Alola? Oh, I didn't expect to meet someone who knows about it. That's right, this Diglett is from the Alola region. When I traveled in Alola, I fell in love with these adorable little three hairs. I caught a lot of Diglett there and came back. But they went somewhere when I looked away for a second. Anyways, you found a Diglett buried in the ground. You definitely have a talent for finding Diglett. It's okay if you find all the other Diglett too. Sure, why not? Oh, what a, a kind person you are. Words can't express how grateful you are. You found one Diglett so far, so please find a hundred and fifty more. My dude, how do you lose a hundred and fifty Diglett? That's like a whole like stream by yourself, by itself, just hunting Diglett. Hey, guys, welcome to the dojo. Wait, Chancy, I heard, I know that cry. There you are. I know that cry. That's what, that's what free experience sounds like. Say goodbye, Chunty. Healing Wish. What exactly does Healing Wish do? That's a normal type move. H, H, H. It's 
it's not a normal type move. Oh? The Psychic? Healing Wish. Do use your feints and return Pokemon taking its place while its HP restored. Okay. Oh, it's your terrain. No thank you, Boltund. I said no thank you, Boltund. Everybody's getting levels today. But anyways, dojo time. Hello, Avery. Oh, fiddlesticks. So our new student decided to go back home. It would appear so. I'll have you know my offer to escort them was perfect. He rather abruptly has scorned after our battle. And here I'm hoping to welcome a new member to our little family here too. Alright, listen here, you asshole. What do you think you can do going and sp spreading around lies like that? Of course, you must be the new student that's supposed to join the dojo today. Yep, sure. That's right, uh, cr that's correct, ma'am. I swear I thought you'd use teleport or something. You disappeared so quickly. Regards, it gives me a great joy to know that you decided to come after all. Well, everything's just coming up roses now. I'm quite sure they already told me your name, but it's Mio. That's right, you're Mio. Of course you are, love. Though I'm not, I'm rather sure that's not the name I was told before. My name's Honey. I keep, I help keep this place running. She just looks like Yassified Daisy. Like, her hair is like one-to-one -one Daisy. But for what purpose is he here? My feature say must be off. But I must think before Miss Honey figures out I told an innocent little lie. Seems like you already met our Avery. Bit of an odd ducklet, but he's one of our own. He's training here at the dojo so he can become a gym leader someday. I can trust you two to get along, right? Nope. Oh dear, but look at me. Here I am making you stand outside after you come all this way. Come in, come in. Don't mind the faint stench of sweat. Now listen. She dare breathe the word of what happened at the station to Miss Honey. Well, let's just say I'll use my psychic powers. Uh, let's just say my psychic powers are very potent. Do I make myself clear? Bro just gave us a death threat. Bro was like, you know what? Fuck you. What were we looking at? A Pokemon? Dodo time. Hello, knock knock. It is I, the league champion. Oh, Lapras. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, that's a Charmander. Okay, I thought that looked. From a distance, it looked like Ogre Pond. I was like, there's no way they teased Ogre Pond in the DLC for the for Sword and Shield. No way. Anyways. Like, I know there's a teaser in every single game about the next game. Because, like, for example, in Alola, uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, there was a poster that had a Gigantamax uh, Toxtricity. And I know in one of the hotels in Sir Chester, there's like uh, paintings of like the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Anyways, hello. Why, hello there. My name's Mustard. I'm rather good at Pokemon battles, you know. I'm pleased as cheese that you could join us. Cheese to meet you, my friend. Aha, I see you've got a good sense of humor, too. Good, good. Still haven't fooled you to think he's just a silly old man. He's a rather beast when he gets serious. Well, darling, I'll leave the rest up to you. Like, my man looks like he's ancient, and honey's like... Like, how old is the honey? And how old is mustard? Honey mustard. Honey mustard, okay. Hey, this is my favorite part. I want to see just how good you are. So why not have a battle with little me? Just say the word when you're ready. Let's see what Pokemon. I think he, I'm pretty sure he uses fighting types. What have we got? Do we send out our funny bird? Do we send out our funny bird? 
Honey Bird is here to fight. We are ready to battle. Let's get this show started. I want to catch some new Pokemon for the DLC. So I think we did that with Teal Mask. Where we got, we like, left all but two of our Pokemon and started building up a team. I kind of want to do that. I just can't wait to see you battle your heart out. Bro, you're gonna get like knocked out in like two moves. Goodbye, mean foo. Oh, come on. That's just not cool. Bro's faster than me? Well, that makes sense. He is like, he's two levels higher and he is a mean foo. Goodbye, mean foo. Oh, a super duper effective. Uh oh, I smell danger. You think my Corviknight's that big of a problem, huh? Just wait till I send out a god. No. I probably won't need to send out like a super effective hit. Hello, Shanks. Shanks with Intimidate is. Honestly, pretty like a funny concept to me because like it doesn't look intimidating. Anyways, goodbye, Shanks. Whale. Uh. Goodbye. Oh, Corbin is still alive. No, it's not. Not for longer. Uh. Just hit it with the bird. bird. Yeah. Goodbye, Corbinite. Well, anyways. Hello, Shanks. I have liked you to meet God. He's in a love ball. Obliterate the child. The weird cat baby thing. Say goodbye. To the Shadow Realm. You win. You defeated Dojo Master Mustard. That's everything I hoped for and more. Sick. Bahaha, <gasps> I lost. You're pretty strong, aren't you? Hey, the newbie won. Master wasn't going all out, but still, that was pretty impressive. Who is that kid, anyway? The Pokemon League champion. The way you bow really shows me how much you care about your Pokemon. Even though you've come here because of a misunderstanding, as long as you're willing to learn, then you're welcome at the Master Dojo. I think we all can help each other become- I think we all can help each other- I think we can all help each other become stronger. Why would that so hard for me to say? Anyways, Dojo Uniform. See? We love getting new customizable outfits. However, thankfully, M Mustard decided to, uh, you know, not shave my head for some reason. Now then, with Mio here, with Mio here now, the dojo is at max capacity. It's time to really get started our training. You'll be all be facing three trials. Whoa! Why is our max capacity for the dojo? And there's more. The person who completes the three trials will receive the secret armor of the dojo. And the secret armor. That's the spirit. It's a, it's a Pokemon. Pardon me, Master. I haven't received my uniform yet. I dare say it's unfair that only the child gets the uniform. Unequal, even. I demand an item swap. My bro. You need to keep your character design. Joke's on you. What in the world? My dojo uniform. It's gone missing. Popo. -po. It's Slowpoke. That speed. Was that really the Slowpoke? I've never seen slow any Slowpoke move so fast. They've been building up this joke for who knows how long. Since like the beginning of Slowpoke's existence, probably. Because like, look at them go. <laughs> look 
at them go. <laughs> Oops, I guess I let them out of their Pokeballs a little too soon. Master, what's up with the Slowpoke? This is the first trial, my students. You gotta chase after those fast Slowpoke, trained with care by little old me. That's not all, you need to defeat them too. And while you're at it, could you get Avery's Dojo uniform back? Yep. <laughs> I love this stupid joke. Fast slowpoke. Like. Uh, uh, go get him, Scraggy. They've been building up this joke for years. Do you want to change back to your usual clothes? I'm going to say yes right now so I don't have to, you know, change my hairstyle. Or go pay to change my hairstyle. I'll stay. Change my outfit. And then we put back on the dojo uniform. Because I want to keep the hairstyle. No. We're good. We're keeping our hairstyle, but we're putting on the dojo uniform. Where are we going? Hello, Slowpoke. Wow. <laughs> Off they go. <laughs> Their little legs just flopping back and forth. <laughs> but yeah. Hello. You seem to have an awesome bike. Let me customize it for you if you'd like. Sure. I'm the bike lady. Person. Yes, I would like to customize my bike. No way, I want to do I want to do the black. No. Yes, I would like to go to glistening black, because the glistening black is way better. Let's see, hold on. I think I need to do a dark jump. If I turn this up, I should get at least a good color. I want to change my outfit. What does poison type look like? Green? No. I want to do... Change outfit. No, wait, no. Change outfit. Dragon color. Oh. I think I'll stick with this. Because normally I would stick with like the dark type one. So I like that color. Quagsire. Hello, Drapion. We could just chase after them or we can just like wait here. Hello, Slowpoke. The fast slowpoke defeat and get back the dojo. You Meet God. Level 60 slowpoke. That's a strong slowpoke. But can it survive a Dynamax cannon? Actually, I wonder if we can look up the stats of these slowpoke. Poison. Oh. No. No. And Galarian Slowpoke. Probably look at the stats somewhere. Wait, Slowpoke has a 5% chance of holding a King's Rock? I didn't know that. That's interesting. Anyways, there's the second one. Yeah, that's a Malamar. Well, you know what we gotta do. It's me. And... Uh, 
boop. Boop boop. Goodbye, Slowpoke. I was using Psycho. I, I, I find it funny that they're just really fast. I don't. I know it's a simple thing. I, it, I just like it. It's just good. Last one is over here. I think it's like in one of the one of these little pools of water you can find like a wild polywrath and a wild poly whirl. I mean not poly whirl, poly toad somewhere. I don't know where though. Go Eternatus. Send him to the Shadow Realm. Bro, psyching up. That ain't that ain't gonna that ain't gonna do anything, buddy. Send him to the Shadow Realm. Oh my God, his eyes. Bro's literally dead. Oh, I didn't know slow. I didn't notice the eyes change. Oh, I didn't know they changed to an X. Oh, that that's a lot more brutal than I thought it would be. Oh. We didn't just send him to the Shadow Realm, we sent him to hell. Oh my god. <laughs> Goodbye, Slowpoke. I, mean, I think it's what I was talking about, like under this tree, it's like a 5% chance to encounter a, what's, um, like a 5% chance in the rain to encounter a slow, uh, poly toad and a polygraph, I think. I could be wrong about that. Hello, Dreadnought. Goodbye, Dreadnought. Right. Hello, Buffalon. Yields of Honor. Oh, hey, look, the Chansey. That's free experience. I think we have one more Dynamax Cannon. Send it to go meet the Slowpoke. Do it, Eternatus. Oh wow, that... I didn't do as much as I thought it was gonna do. Ulta is crazy strong in that case. Let's see Scarlet and Violet Pokedex for Eternatus. Okay, it still gets Dynamax Cannon. Oh, but it doesn't get a ter the ter other Eternatus move. Because Eternatus has two signature moves. It doesn't get the other one in Scarlet and Violet. That makes sense. What's the other one called? Yeah, Eterna Beam at level 88. A 160 base power move. That is insane. Yeah, it can no longer get Eterna Beam at level 88 in Scarlet and Violet because, you know... Dynamax and Etern Eternamax, Gigantamax, all that doesn't exist in Scarlet and Violet. You know what? I kind of wish they do add that feature, like back, like in the in the Indigo Disc. Like there's that big Terrarium thing. Oh, oh, it's the boys. It's the boys. Biggest decision of our lives right here. Hold on one minute. Drip. Vine. Which friend are we doing? I'm just saying, I already know who I'm picking. I already know our choice. 
and there's only one correct answer. Our friendly... No, not... not. I mean, if you could choose honey. Bovine. Bulbasaur is our best buddy. Our best little friend. Bulbasaur became your Pokemon. I want to add him to the party. Hmm. We already have Monkey. Oh, wait a minute. We get Monkey. I chose Bulbasaur. If we do all the, all the, what's my call, all the Diglett, we're going to get Rowlet. We are like rolling in grass Pokemon. I'll swap you out for Berserker. Place it in the bag. Bulbasaur acquired. Our Bulbas buddy. Gigantamax. A very special way of Dynamaxing. Very special. Now for the second trial. I'd love to have a bowl of max soup with full of max mushrooms right right now. It sure has been a while. That's why your second trial will be to mush be mushroom picking. Max Mushrooms are the key to Gigantamaxing, and I'm tasking you with finding three. Max Mushrooms are red with a spiral pattern. I'm pretty sure they glow in the dark. They grow in dark, humid places too. With that, your next trial begins. I'm counting on you. Whoa! Make it so strong. I'm pretty sure Honey has like a side quest that you can do. That you, or if you max out everything in the dojo, you can fight Honey. And then she has, like, her last Pokemon is the Gigantamax, uh, Pokemon that you didn't choose. Here, let's see what, what let's look at our little Bulba buddy. Bulbasaur. Gigantamax. Ooh, oh, that is, oh, that is bad for Bulbasaur. We, we wouldn't happen to have a mint on us, right? Literally any kind of mint. No. If we could change that nature, I would. I'm still gonna heal. Let's go. We got some shrooms to hunt. Hey Mio, my bad, my bad. What's up, mustard? It just dawned on me that you're brand new to Isle of Armor. I bet you have no idea where to begin looking for Max Mushrooms. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god. Jokes on you, mustard. I know more than you. But we're going on a little walk anyways. Uh. What? So I pulled up Ser- I have Cerebi pulled up. And I can't like a little- I don't have an ad blocker, so like on the bottom of the screen, I have the ad. Back to the Future Musical. No. Why? Anyways, back to the Max Mushroom. Just watch where you're going in the forest, okay? Hoo hoo. Hoo hee ha ha. Too bright, it is Truman time. Hello, Emolga. <gasps> Among us. There's the digging, ma. I wanna go this way. Do the detour. Frame rant. I love the Isle of Armor. I think it just looks really pretty. Like you can have your own opinions or whatever of how you, of the DLC. But I love how it looks. Ah, unfortunate. Oh, 
What were you? Ah, oh, you're a fungus. A fungus among us. Old Gato, why is this just laying out here? I'm trying to look. Oh, there's a Diglett. We'll get that later. What I'm looking for is... Galarcia twigs. Because if we get a... I don't know how many it is, but if we get a certain amount of Galarcia twigs, we can evolve our slow poke into a slow bro or a slow king depending on what item we turn the <laughs> twigs into that's the one that's the one yeah it's a venipede that's two how many is it to make a glarcia twig Raining lowlands. We are on poison. Hello, Swoobat. Kango's gone. Let's see, where is it? Where is he? Where is he? Slow bro. Let's see. Galarcia Cup. Cuff made of Galarcia twigs. All the way down, all the way down. Max mushrooms. I would like to pick the mushrooms. Just wait just a moment. Okay, for the cuff, it's eight Galarcia twigs. Okay. And one. Ha, just as I expected. Multiple max mushrooms growing in a bunch. My psychic powers picked up on these much mushrooms eons before you found them. Bro is following us. Can I click the wreath? I want to see how to make the wreath. I guess we can't look up how to make the wreath. Because there's no way it's like 15. The Larcia, the DH, Cardivorite, Black Key, Larcia Reef. Okay, there was an event for it. Growing Sea Caves, that's where we find it. The person of trade for it. Anyways, hello, Avery. Okay. For the cuff, it's eight. For, okay, slow bro, you need eight twigs. Slow king, you need 15. It is 15, unfortunately. Anyways, hello, slowpoke. We're doing this again. Back to the shadow realm with you. Goodbye. Oh my god, the eyes. He is just dead. And there is no, no way around that. He is just gone. Leech seed? That is good. Razor leaf? Sure. What is that? Physical? 55 physical. That's fine. Poison powder, pass. Sleep powder, pass. Kadabra. Kadabra's fate is gonna be the exact same. Off to the shadow realm with you, Kadabra. Goodbye. <laughs> I love just using Dynamax and just obliterating Pokemon. So that one slowpoke did survive. Was it slowpoke? No, there was a chance. That one chance he survived. Now we get our Ivysaur. Seed bomb. That is a yes. That is a yes right there. Ah. 
and then Wu Bat. We all know how this goes. I'm not weak. I cannot lose. Joke's on you. And Dragon's just gonna like sneeze on you. It's like. What you? And then. Dead. Only two move. Only. That was two levels. God. Wow. That was not a lot of levels. Little balls bouncing off the hat. Bulbasaur. We've only just met you, buddy, and now you're grown up. You grow up so fast. Hello, Ivysaur. Ivysaur's data will be added to the Pokédex. Blast it. Victory still eludes me. What is it I lack? What do I need? Evolved Pokemon. That's what you need. Swoobat. Alakazam. Slowking. Anyways. Shrooms. Act mushrooms acquired. Hello. Hello ho. Is this Mio's phone? How's the trial coming along, love? Easy peasy. Alright. Back to the dojo. Hello, Sanjula. Uh, Sanjru. Let's take a look out here real quick. I never really pass by this area. So you never really need to go out here. Flame Orb. See, that would be good on like, Marvel scale. Yeah, like Marvel scale Milotic. Dojo. I know Marvel scale increases like a stat for something, but I don't remember what exactly it is. Like you need like a status effect in order to activate Marvel scale. There it is. Marvel scale. Defenses increase by 50% when induced with a status. Okay. Interesting. Hey, why does Dratini and Dragonair have Marvel Scale as their hidden ability, but not Dragonite. Multi-scale. Produces damage affected by this Pokemon by 50% of that maximum HP. Wow. Ebulite Dragonair. Going crazy. Mm-mm-mm. I really outdone myself this time. That's all that's to add those lovely Max Mushrooms you've brought us. Bro's like, wait... I've never, I, I, I have shrooms. Let me drug the potion. Taste of his efforts, bro. I mean, good on him for finding three other max mushrooms, but like, he is like way too desperate. We can also uh, give her one of our Pokemon Gigantamax. Ooh. Time to dig in. You enjoyed the Max Soup. Well, I never did explain the big deal about the soup, did I? You see, once one drinks the do Dojo's famous Max Soup, you feel Dynamax energy welling up inside you? <gasps> no, you don't. That kind of thing doesn't happen if a human has the soup. But things are a bit different when a certain Pokemon drink the soup. You see, there are some Pokemon that have, have a distinct potential. When they drink the soup, their Dynamax form will change into a Gigantamax form. Okay, we're, okay. <clears throat> Bleh, we're good. So you can ask him to serve up a fresh bowl of Max Soup whenever you need. Wrap things up. I want to give monkey moment the soup quick little detour hello i would like max soup i have a monkey moment that needs buffing 
Let us do this. Rillaboom is now capable of Gigantamaxing. Our monkey moment is getting even stronger. Now my ears start ringing. Here to work. Kerr. <laughs> Bro needs more watts. Just hook up a battery to it. Anyways, hello, Mustard. There you are, Mew. Avery, thanks for coming. I heard you had something to tell me. I came as soon as I could, Master. Right. Well, I've decided that you two will now take the dojos. Final, last, ultimate, third trial. A final, last, ultimate, third trial, you say? Final, last, ultimate, third trial? What's that? Well, yeah, that's the gist of it. You two were the only ones who successfully finished the second trial. We've pushed each other to greater heights and helped each other grow. So I'd say it's finally time to see who is stronger in a Dynamax Pokemon battle. So we are to battle with each other? That is the last trial? Yep, the rules are simple. Whoever wins will complete the trial. The winner will be granted the secret armor of the Master Dojo. This is it. At last. Can I really? The battle will be held in the battle court behind the Master Dojo. The court is a power spot so you can Dynamax to your heart's content. I must make haste. Bro. Chill. Off he goes. Hmm. Avery. He's got talent, that's for sure. But it's caused him to slack off. Yes, yes. He's playing... What what game is that called? It's Pokemon... Oh, what's it called again? It's the cube one. Oh, what's it called? Uh... Da, 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 da. What's it called? Pokemon Quest. It's called Pokemon Quest. He's playing Pokemon Quest. That's right. I completely forgot that they added this little Easter egg of him playing that. And my bro, clean up your table, my dude. Well, anyways, it's battle time. We're gonna heal. Let's see. Is there anything we need to prep? Who do we? Who are we sending out first? Definitely a psychic team. I think we send out Boltund. Because Boltund does all the dark type moves. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, Avery. What are you doing? Hello, Avery. So you've come at last. Defeating you will grant me the secret armor. Then I will at last have what I need to become a psychic type gym leader. No matter what it takes, I refuse to accept anything but a complete and utter victory. I'm coming at you with everything I have. Are you prepared? No. Let us do this. Looks like the two of you are ready. Good luck. I'm cheering for both of you. And somehow he is all the way over there. It is time for the final trial. Ready? And go. Bro, evolve your Pokemon. There's no way you're winning. Let's have an elegant battle worthy of being called a finale. Prepare to sing into despair and into the weird battlefield beneath your feet. See, Sword is a lot, uh, for the DLC, this fight is a lot more difficult in Sword because 
Oh, what, whatever the person's name is. She puts down toxic spikes instead of uh, psychic terrain. And it's a lot worse to deal with. Because, like, your Pokemon is poisoned upon entry on that. Anyways, we're gonna bite your funny little horse. Shifton. I love Galarian Ponyta so much. It's so, it's okay. I just like it. And Bulbs were going crazy over there. Kadabra, nah. Rose facing down the Pokemon League Champion. Wait, his Pokemon was level 66? Uh oh. Um. The only thing keeping us alive is, you know, our speed. We could use Wild Charge there. Wild Charge would have been su uh, super effective and stab. But we're bolt times, so, so we're fine. Slow bro. Slow bro. It's still a uh, psychic poison, so I think we should be fine. We shall awaken our true psychic power here and now. No. No, you won't. Goodbye, slow bro. Quick draw. My bro just has quick claw on hand. I need to see quick draw. At the start of each turn, this Pokemon has a third chance of moving first in the speed priority bracket. Yeah. Slow bro just has a quick claw on hand. What is the chance for Quick Claw to activate? Is it 30%? You are... You are... Quick Claw. And there goes Bolton. It's a good thing we have Zamazenta on our side. There it is. It has an 18% chance in Gen 3 and 4, 20 in Gen 5 and beyond. Oh, so it's better than Quick Claw. Because Quick Claw has a 20% chance to activate, while uh, Quick Draw has uh, a 30%. But he's just got a better Quick Claw. Interesting. Or Max Geyser, Water Pulse. We're good. We're living. Yo. Goodbye, slow bro. No quick draw. There we go. We're good. I saw a page for poke for Smash Bros. And I was not expecting to see a Smash Bros page. I haven't got a new move for uh Ivysaur in a while. <clears> how <throat> oh, how could I just imprison myself just for this, you fool? Evolve your Pokemon. 
The victor has been decided. The one to complete the third trial is you, Neo. Hooray, hooray. Mazel tov. It appears I have lost. <laughs> How pathetic. I lost even though I resorted to such underhanded tactics. I don't think a young, capable children like you can understand how I feel. I'm just an average man who gave everything he possibly could. Perhaps it's time I stopped playing around and gave up my dream of being a gym leader. After the less than reputable things I did, I'm likely to be expelled from the dojo. Mio, you are free to tell the master about the awful things I did. Okay. Sorry for what I did. Oh, no need to tell me. You can't hide anything from little old me. Master? What? I should apologize on Avery's behalf, too, as his master. He, what he did was wrong, but he just didn't want to be beaten by his rival. That's all. He's a good, hard-working student. Never punished. Look after the Pokemon for six months, but that's fine. Never punished, because it's the Pokemon game. Like, you know, how Penny commits a felony and, you know, every, it's all fine. She just gets a job, and you know, I, I, like that still bugs me. Penny commits like an actual felony, and all she is, is all she just she's just given like a slap on the wrist and a guaranteed job after school. Like, why? I'll acknowledge your strength just a little. Bro, chill. That's that. The joke's on you. I love mustard. Ah, there you are, Mio. Keeping this old man waiting, huh? Since you've completed all three trials, I give you the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Bro, did just hand you like an assault vest or something? Now then. Come on out. Say hello to Cubfu. He's just a funny little guy. He's a shy little guy. Bear. Bear. This Pokemon is in fact the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Say hello to Cubfu. I know, I know, it's tiny. But raise it with diligence and it'll become strong enough to see you through any battle. Just like a suit of armor. No opponent will be able to get past it. Just wait till it, oh, just wait till it gets brought into the competitive arena. Then it's gonna go down. There's one particular Pokemon has a, uh, amazing potential. The problem is, it's a bit shy. It doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. So I was thinking, Mio, maybe if it joins you on your adventure, that sh that'll help break it out of its shell a little bit. So take good care, Cup okay? It's in your hands now. Hello, Cup Fu. Barama. He's just a grumpy little man. Bear. Kupu became your Pokemon. No, I, I didn't want to give it a nickname. Okay, we're good. I didn't want to send it to the box. First thing you need to do is become best friends with Kupu. Build this trust. Hasn't Kupu hasn't. Ha hasn't really had any experience to join. It's like, oh my god, I, can't, I am slurring my words. Kapu hasn't really had, ha Kapu hasn't really had a chance to explore the world outside the dojo. Oh my goodness. Anyways, we now let Pokemon out of their balls. Let's go, Kapu. 
We need to put him on our team first. We're gonna switch out. I think we switch out Corviknight. Not no not not Corviknight, but Boltund. I'm gonna organize my party real quick. My my little area real quick. Go there. Type null will be put there. Cub foo here. Berserker here. Slowpoke there. And we're good. Now we need to get to like level 75, which is unfortunate. Because <laughs> I don't we don't I don't think we have enough XP to give him to level 75. Sounds like a chance he spawns. Oh, hello, Zombazenta. I forgot we, the first Pokemon in our party is let out. I walk with Cub Poop. Hello, little friend. Goodbye. Where's that raid? It's over there. I think we might be able to beat that raid with Zombazenta. I'm hope. No, stop, stop, stop. I'm gonna try that that raid over there. And hopefully we can get like a, a good amount of XP candy. If we're not if we can't oh wait no I don't want to invite Otis. No, stop eating stuff. Ready to battle. We're good. We ride. God of law. Should be able to just do this pretty fast. Hopefully. I love the Dynamax music. It's one of my favorite themes in the, in the game. One of my favorite battle themes, other than like, you know, the Mar the rival themes and all that jazz. The Dynamax battle theme is actually pretty fun. Yeah, no. The answer of, are we doing this? The answer is no. That is a hard no. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna wait for this cutscene to go out a little bit. I was not thinking, so we're just kind of locked in here to we lose. Then use body slam or take impact's fine. It's defense as well. Two Pokemon down. And then beat him in class. Goodbye. This is gonna get you down like to like two thirds. Not. Nah, it's gonna get you down to halfway, and you're gonna put up another shield. Because five star raids are like that. Five Star Raids are honestly a lot more annoying to fight in this game than in Scarlet and Violet because they keep putting up the shield. And multi-hit attacks don't damage more than one, like, 
hit for the shield. It only does one. Like, Bullet Seed will only hit one layer of the shield and nothing else. And honestly, it's kind of annoying. Getting too strong. Damn. Go by Zama Zinta. Oh no. Hello, you. I'm just gonna use being here fast. And get it out of the way. That was a lot of damage for through the shield. If we do this online, we might be able to beat it with Zombies on top. Maybe. Maybe. Hold on, I wanna... Connect to the internet. Wi-Fi. Now if we do this. And now we wait. Maybe somebody will pop in. Who knows? I'm hoping somebody pops in because I want to beat this raid. That's a five-star raid just sitting there. Hello, Lucas. Who is that? Is Ashian? Why is Dumbledore trending? Anyways, we wait. Yeah, two minutes. Oh, I will pop with a Lugia. One more. One more. One more. Why oh, yeah, I saw some the other day for the DLC for Scarlet and Violet. And it said that the where is it? Yeah, Scarlet Violet. The DLC, where is it? Where is it? Let me pull it up. Let me pull that up. Uh, da, 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 DLC. Hidden treasure of area zero. They said, I think it was November 8th, they said that they would release uh, the physical copy of uh, Scarlet and Violet along with uh, Teal Mask and Indigo Disc. So I'm thinking... Uh, it's gonna come out by the end of October, the, the Indigo Disc, or like just before like November eighth. That's fine. We'll just start right now. Yeah, Lugia. We got Zashian. We got Zamazenta. Who's our Who's our last friend? It better not be that Martin uh, trainer. 
Okay. I think that's the Delmice, dude. No, it's Salazzle. Oh, it's Salazzle. That is not good. You shall be destroyed. Why is my setting so weird looking? Well, I just realized how big this is stretched out. Usually I have like all the like buttons for like stop and recording like all shrunk to the side. And like, I have my audio levels like stretched out so I can adjust them more accurately, but for some reason they're like out of whack. you down you like that have that big old thing. yeah that, that's a lot better I don't know what changed up my settings like that fire last one max starfall oh wow that did nothing good yeah Also, I looked at the GTS on Pokemon Home the other day, so I can maybe like, probably get like a Walking Wake and Iron Leaves. There are only three Iron Leaves on the GTS right now, and they all want Blood Moon Ursa Luna, and there are no Walking Wakes on it, which is honestly kind of funny to me. Like, I, I'd, I'd look up Walking Wake on Pokemon Home and it'd say, Pokemon doesn't exist. I'm like, huh? What do you mean it doesn't exist? Damn! That's a lot of damage. Incoming Behemoth Bash. You know, I have a bunch of points in my Pokemon home. Where is it? Yeah, look at my point. There you go. 69,000 points. Nice. I'm pretty sure I can, like, send that to one of the games as, like, you know, like, like battle points or, like, as, uh, I think it's, it converts into LP and, Scar and Scarlet and Violet. I'm not sure. I forgot to put some Pokemon in the Wonder Box and Pokemon. What do I get? A zoo grill. I'm just gonna receive all instead of doing it one by one. There's two Pokemon from PC. Oh, there goes Gardevoir. I got a level 70 Eevee. Interesting. Level 70 Eevee. I'm gonna catch you. That yeah, Pokeball. Nimble. Boy Coco. A lot of Japanese ones. Brigatito. Quite a few. Quite a few guys. I'm gonna do that again. Put some more Pokemon in the Wonder Box. from when I did some breeding with them, I'm going to trade those guys. Oh, 
Off into the world goes the Streepy. And now, I'm gonna dump our rare candy. Not rare candy, but I'm gonna dump our new candy stuff. You. Into Cub Poo. 29, that's not a lot. Okay, Aerial Ace is something we really need. We don't need Scary Face. Headbutt would be nice. Brick Break. That is better than Rock Smash. Detect. We don't need. I'm going to organize this by type because I do not want to scroll all the way down every time we want to use candy. Now, how about the XL candy? We're level 29. 45, that's a nice increase, okay. I'll give you bulk up. Ooh, iron head. Instead of headbutt. Dynamic punch? Mmm, no. We don't need dynamic punch. Counter, we're good. Dynamax candy into Cub Poo. Are we, are we stuck? No, we're not stuck. Okay. Now we put Cub, cub Poo up first. I'm almost at the level we need it. I'm pretty sure it's marked on our map where we need to go. Where is it? Yeah. Yep. Find all these places. I think I know where most of them are, but... One, two, three... Okay, oh, people are spawning. Yeah, I think I know where they are. I should be heading in the right direction. Oh, that's a whooper. It's a funny little whoopy boy. That we are not fighting. If this if he couldn't run away, I would have like that that whooper. That whooper man. And you should no, is it a different spot where the digging paw spawns? Oh. Oh, 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 you. Hello. Enjoy the scenery. They force you to explore the island. Okay, it's almost time. So I think there's another spot like just out of this cave. Hello, Dread again. You know, dodge and weave. Dodge and some Pokemon. Okay, where are we? Why are you just staring at the wall, my dude? Pretty sure there's another spot, like, just over here somewhere. Yeah, you. Hello. I would like to see the scenery. With my weird bear kid thing. time to show Cub Fu. It's almost time to show Cub Fu. I think there's another spot at the, at the desert area. Oh, bark. That was a, a herd here. I 
Hello, Miltang. There's the digging pile. I'm pretty sure you do digging paw to get watts. I think. I think it's digging paw to get watts. Yeah, it is watts. It's like three pieces of armorite ore for what to for him to dig. And you use that for watts. And you go back to the wild area in base galar, and then you can get a oh, you're really happy to see how well you get along. Cool. But before we do that, we need to find some raids to do. We need more candy. I'm gonna talk to, to you first. Hello. Digging Paws the name. Alright, let's see how many watts we get. 3,000. 6,000. 8,000. 10,000, 12,000, 13 and a half, 15 and a half, 17 and a half, 19 and a half, 21 and a half, 23, 25, okay, we're actually getting quite a bit, 20,000, that's pretty good. Okay. I want to go and do some raids, because we need to level up Cub Fu to level 75 at least. Because if we don't, we're going to have a hard time in the next portion of the game. So I think if we go back to the wild area, we should be able to do the purple raid that's there. Uh, yes, I would do the purple raid if I can see. I don't think I don't think the purple raid's on this side. No blizzard. No blizzard. Is that orange? What's that orange? Oh, it's a camp. Never mind. Pop over here. There's our purple raid. There it is. <sighs> I mean, we can uh, look online after we do this one. We only get two purple raids right now. We can go to the Crown Tundra and get a third one, but I want to wait until we do the Crown Tundra until we actually beat the Isle of Armor. So for now, we go on our little our little raid to, to buff up Cub Fu. Hello. That is a... <clears throat> what is that? Uh, and then I'll switch to Pokemon. I want to go and invite others. Is that a Cherum? Oh, it is a Cherum. <laughs> Hello, Cherum. Meet Eternatus. Unfortunately, we can't Dynamax because Eternatus cannot Dynamax. Alright, how much is this gonna do? Decent amount, decent amount. Go 
and buy Barry. Actually, goodbye, Clefairy, this time. Goodbye. We just use Dynamax Cannon again. How much damage is that gonna do? go to Kitakami at the beginning of the game, okay. How strong is the final battle? Oh, it's okay. The, legend the legendary Pokemon are only level 35. If you go to Kitakami before doing any gyms and stuff. Ogre Pond will be level 20. How strong is the final fight? Highest level Pokemon. If you don't beat the game, the highest level Pokemon in the DLC is level 35. God damn. We definitely made that way harder than we should have by, you know, playing the game. Give us some good XP candy, please. Whoa. 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 Cherim Cow. That's kind of good. I was hoping for more, you know, XL candies. Let's just dump this into Kabu. Oof. 25, that was okay, six levels. Close combat. Well, replace Brick Break for that. Medium candy. Oh, just a level, that's fine. And then the Dynamax. Okay. Ooh, Gengar. Blastoise. We're gonna do this Gengar raid. Oh, it has a link code. Never mind, we can't do that. Okay. Slow. Slip Snorlax. Okay. Rude. Locked. Locked. You're still there. I'm not gonna do Charizard. Gilliolisk. Um, Ditto. And we're just gonna try it again. Okay, I see. I see what you're going on here. I like her outfit. It's a cute little character design. I like that. Show me new stamps. Okay, fine, I'll do Charizard. Okay, never mind. We will be going back to the Isle of Armor. I can menu. 
Yum. Dojo, please. I should be able to just talk to uh, Mustard. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, I also like this design. Oh. You know, I really like the dark type outfit stuff. I'm just like a sucker for dark type outfit. The dark type outfit and like all the dark type jazz. I don't, I don't know why. If only someone know him. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Too bad, honey. We are not doing you today. Hey, let's see how we're getting together. A bear more. Alright, you two, follow me. We're <laughs> like, what? Alright. Dum din dum dum dee dee la la dee dum. This is a good spot as any. Now then, Mio and Kabu, if you want to become stronger, there are special training grounds just for Kabu. Prepare yourselves for the Towers of Two Fists. The blue tower is the Tower of Waters. And the red tower is the Tower of Darkness. Choose wisely, since you'll only be able to climb one of the ta two towers. Cub Fu's fighting style would change depending on the tower that you choose, and the type it gets will, will change as well. So think carefully. Each tower is five stories tall. Each floor has a tough opponent waiting for you. Make sure you level up Cub Fu properly before trying to climb up. If you can reach the, you can reach both the towers by heading through the fo forest of focus. You might be able to find a shortcut if you can ride your bike across the river. I'm really looking forward to uh, when you two make it to the top of one of these towers. It's going to be so exciting. So you know how I said I'm really a fan of the dark type stuff, right? We're doing the Tower of Darkness. There's like no no choice needs to be made. We are hands down doing the Tower of Darkness. Because like I remember when I first uh, played through Isle of Armor stuff, they were like, oh, the water tower and the dark tower. I'm like, oh, okay, stop, stop, mash A, mash A, mash A, get through the text. We are ha we are doing the wa the tower of darkness. Because, you know, dark types. I like dark types. I heard, like, yelling right outside my window. Should be able to, this way, I think. A little tang growth. I should have just gone the other way. Ooh. Is there any new raids? You need a link code. Jellybird. All the good raids require a link code. So it's annoying. Like, come on. Okay, I know we can't actually do the raid itself right now. But I want to go up to the tower just to get the fly point. So if we can get the fly point, we can just like warp right back here. Haru. Says Lightning Rock. Alright, fly point acquired. <sighs> Hello, Mio. Master has already sent the word. This is the Tower of Darkness. It's a special training ground that only Cub Fu can use. And if you want to climb the tower, please make sure that Cub Fu is the only Pokemon in, on your team. Yep. Only Cub Fu can go into the tower. I'm pretty sure. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. No, no, not not you, Komori. Oh, I want the TM. No, excuse me. Thank you. Third job. That's what I wanted. Yeah, you need Cub Fu, and then you need a level 75 Cub Fu. So the fastest way to do that, can we get XP Candy using Watt somehow? Is there a way? Max, what can we use for Watt? I mean, for Watts, the 
best thing is money farming because if, if you take the watts, you do raids, you get the watts from digging paw, and then you go to a base galar, you can buy a bunch of luxury balls for like really cheap, like all the watts, and then you sell them for like a thousand each, a thousand or five hundred each, and you just it's just infinite money. And there should be like a, a search bar just for raids. Uh, we don't have any actual thing. Whatever the thing is called that you throw into the raid den. It's not a wishing star. I think it actually is a wishing star. There's an item that you I can throw into the raid to activate one. Ah, Cub Fu. Go overnight. Unfortunately, we're out of the good battle. I don't think there's a way to farm Chansey. It's a fast way to gain it. That sound. That is the best XP farming for Sword and Shield. Method, but it is a glitch. Hmm. It's with the polka jobs, I don't think I wanna. I don't think I can do that. You can fast forward the date and time to get into the purple, uh, purple bean, but. Mm -hmm. This couple. Why do we just like set on a heal ball? Oh, it's because we're not sorted. Oh, I didn't mean to use the dust ball. We haven't sorted our bag yet for the poke balls, so that's why we're just landing on the heal ball whenever we open it. <coughs> I went down the wrong way. Not dead yet. All right, mean foo. No, thank you. Goodbye. All right, dump that into cub. Ooh, we got a large one. It's just a it's single level. It hurts. It hurts. We get also we're getting good PMs for this though. Low kick, throat chop, leaf storm, grass knot, energy ball. Pretty good, pretty good stuff. Can you do an online raid? Rush Ram. So do. Nope. You ride. There's a raid somewhere in here. In Brawler's cave. 
You know, it's called Brawler's Crave, but like, Bra Brawler's Cave. But there's no Brawler that you can find. Like, why? Like, what? what, what where's Brawler? Iron Tail. Oh, I would give that to Umbreon, but. See, I want to transfer all our good mods. Whenever we're done playing Sword and Shield, I want to transfer all our good mods up into Scarlet and Violet. But I want to put Iron Tail on Umbreon, but Umbreon doesn't keep Iron Tail when he uh, goes into the next game. Because for some reason they decided, haha, no. And Umbreon doesn't get Iron Tail and Scarlet and Violet. For some godforsaken reason. Okay, this thing shouldn't have a So we should have a, a four times super effective move on it. With stomping tantrum. Yep, monkey moment going crazy. Let's go. Let's go, monkey moment. Monkey moment! It's time for a big, big monkey moment. Oh. Get big, my monkey. G Max Rillaboom. If it wasn't like a, if it didn't have the shield, like hands down. Bro thinks he can stop us. Oh, that's a critical hit. Are you kidding? from discharge? Should see a, still be able to beat it. As long as we can get through the paralysis, we should be fine. Oh yeah, we haven't moved yet. Our team. Yeah. Oh come on, Togepi. Why did you have to do Togepi? If you had an attacking Pokemon, we could have like. Gotten rid of the shield, and I could have G Max Quake. Anyways, goodbye, Magneton. Oh, Sucker Punch. Oh, that is big, Maractus. Thank you, Maractus. to get as much damage as possible. The joke's on you. You're just dead. You're just gone already, Magneton. Goodbye. Yeah, screw it. We'll use the heal ball. Why not? Suddenly, really wanted a pizza. Specifically, a Marco's pizza. Marco's pizza with the garlic herb sauce, with the gar garlic butter sauce. I am hungry. I don't know why. Oh, when was the last time we had pizza? I'm hungry. I, I'm, I don't know why, I just suddenly got really hungry. Okay, any new attacks? Gyro Ball, Flash Cannon, and another Iron Tail. Okay. But anyways, we got candy. We got candy for you, Kapu. Here's all your diabetes. 
our diabetic bear. Because we keep cramming it full of candy. I'm going to wait to use that rare candy. Because I don't want to use the rare candy and then like waste it because it was on like a very low amount of HP. Ooh, you, we're going to try you. G-Max Santa Scourge. Will we be let in this time? Oh, we were we got in. That was a Mel Metal I saw. We're gonna use the Tarnus. That's a Mel Metal. So wait. Why are you using Mel Metal? But wait. Melmetal's weak to fire. Again, G Max, your Melmetal? Was oh, that Shiny Blastoise? Oh, that's a Shiny Blastoise. That's cool. Oh, everybody but me can G Max. Okay, I see. I see how it is. Dynamax can. Oh, there goes Inteleon. I want to get a Melt Cannon. Oh, all the US trained snipers are ready. Look at all, oh, he is so tall. Bro's already fucking dead. I think if I open Pokemon Go, I can get him. I should be able to get him. Out I do have a lot. I can get a Mel Kettle. Mel Man. <laughs> Mel. A Mel Man. I think what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it later. I'm gonna do it later. I'm gonna get a Mel Tan. I'm gonna evolve it into Mel Metal. Send it to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Because my Pokemon Go account is not by Mio, so. I'll send it to Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee so we can catch that uh, Mel Metal with the username Neo. So it is our Mel Metal. It should work. I think it might work. I don't really take a lot of damage. I don't think it's even targeted us. Oh my god, it doesn't even show up on the screen. The G Max thing for uh, Inteleon is just so huge. Shield broken, time for Dynamax time. Goodbye, sent us for Sent to the Shadow Realm. We're gonna catch you. Give us a good ball. Eh, it's Ultra Ball. Ultra Balls are fine. Ultra Balls are fine. We're good. 
Come on, that was so much less. But then again, it wasn't a purple raid. Because the purple raid is the one that gives a 5 large and 5... Not, 3 large and 3 extra large. Alright, we know the routine. Pass it all into the bear. Nine. We're almost there. We are almost there. Okay, what can we do for more raids? Ooh, oh, we can actually do a that G Max dinosaur one. Please let me in. Okay. I see how it is. Oh, you're Turtonator, aren't you? Fultund. Orbeetle. Could do Orbeetle. Oh, no, I'm. That name. <sighs> Double. Do no? Okay. Ooh, Toxtricity, though. Hugo? Can we get in? Hugo? Oh! We're good, we're good, we're living. Hit him with the monkey moment. Wait. There's an electric. Am I going to use something other than funny monkey moment? Zamazenta, maybe. Keep using Don uh, Behemoth Bash. Oh, come on, Zashian. Let's go, Zashian. Obmater, whatever your name is. Not the monkey moment. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Bow, wow. My overview. I want to check my overview real quick. Turn down my audio. That's why I just I turned it up, thinking it'd be better. But no. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. what shiny was that? Oh, is it shiny Rillaboom? Oh, it's shiny Rillaboom. You can you can kind of see it from underneath the Zashian. I mean, Zamazenta. With the behemoth bash, it's not going to be very effective, but it'll do something. Every once in a while I like looking over at my overview, or like not my overview, but like my, the research or whatever, seeing what views are coming from where, because I just think it's pretty neat. I just like it. It's, it's, it's funny. Well, not really funny, but it's just cool to look at, seeing like where people come from, like what, what who was watching from where. Saying where people too off, like, I cannot stop today, oh my god, I am slurring my words. Like, that is not good. 
Uh, don't talk. Okay. I shouldn't be able to get poisoned because I'm a steel type though, so he should be fine. Overground. What was that dude's name? I swear I saw a dot gg. I swear I, th I saw a thought a, a, th a dot gg. What was that dude's name? Yeah, jokes on you, I'm a steel type. I'm just gonna use the behemoth bash again. Not very effective, but it's fine. Articuno is covering out Rillaboom. That, that's funny. Alright. Please give us a good amount of XP candy. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, put up the shield, that's why. Okay, we're good. Freemons.org. Huh. Weird. Look at my dog. He's a cool dog. I'm super effective plus the poison bonus. That is not fun. So like freemons.org is so funny. Oh, there it goes out of the Oh, Rillaboom's also about to go down. It's a good thing we have the grassy terrain on, so we should ride a little longer. Come on, you survive the toxic. Survive the talk. Oh, high horsepower, about to go crazy. Oh, come on, please tell me that's gonna be the healing cheer. We need a healing cheer right now. Come on, please be the healing cheer. Healing cheer? Healing cheer? <sighs> Never mind. Drum, ugh, drum beating. It should be fine because Behemoth Bash and Drill Pack. Okay, we're good. Not very effective, but we win. We win these. Throw the Pokeball now! What do we use? I'm just keep using the Ultra Balls. I don't know why I asked what we were going to use. We're just going to end up using the Ultra Ball. I wonder which Toxicity this is. Show us. Your face. Give. Toxicity. There we go. We're good. You know, I, I know there's a chance for them to break out of the Pokeball, but it, it doesn't happen all too often, but I'm always worried it's going to uh, break out. Electricity to the box. Alright. Candies for Kabu. Candies for Kabu. We have two rare candies. Oh. Oh, that's only a, a single level. Oh, we're, okay, that's already max Dynamax candy, okay. Okay, when is the parades? Copper Raja. Hmm. 
Natasha. Let me and Natasha. We're good. Okay, it's Copper Raja. Hmm. We could still go Eternus. I keep using Flamethrower and Dynamax Cannon. We could also go Monkey Moment. I think we go Monkey Moment and just Stomping Tantrum. That's what we're gonna do. A Monkey Moment Stomping Tantrum. Oh. Oh, we're just starting already. Okay. It's time for a monkey moment. And we're getting G-Max. Mud still. Oh, we do have a Mud Bray on the team, so we should have like three ground type moves. I didn't see the fourth one. Big, big horse. Huh. Okay, it's Pikachu. See for Max Quake. Max Quake. Uh, that raises special defense. Okay. Coco. Cool. Leftovers, okay. Everybody's getting some healing. In. Yeah, I think it does the most damage when it moves. Like, I mean, yes, it breaks the sh two shield points instead of one. I think if you use it, uh, you hit the shield when it's on its last hit with a max move, it does a lot more damage. It might be good that the mud sail got the speed uh, lowered. Now we gotta do the big round of healing. Just max move. Oh, it just puts up spikes. Okay, I did not know that. 
I never really saw Copperage's max move. I usually just one shot it. I never really do any Copperage or raids either, so I never seen Copperage's max move. We had a Pikachu here to use, like Thunderbolt. We would have been done by now. Oh my god, everybody is still here. Oh my god, I've been healing for so long. moment. Okay, oh, I just hit the mic. Let's refix that. Shield's down. There should be a uh, defense and special defense lower. And then monkey moment to kill. Monkey moment. Oh, not a monkey moment. A high horsepower. That's a Mudsdale moment. I'm a catcher. Give you a heal ball. For the usual, Candy Kabul. Nine levels. We should yeah, we should be fine. Uh, oh wait. That's an Alchemy. That is an Alchemy. That is Anna. That is a Zamazenta fight if I've ever seen one. Hit my Jan. Jojo. Oh, it's Jojo. God. <laughs> Fly. Flygon? Why Flygon? That's weak to fairy. Unless you have like heavy slam on that thing. Poison jab. What else is fairy weak to? It's just steel and poison, right? Yeah, fairy. Poison. Steel, yeah. That's it. Oh, that's a trainer we have. That's that's the that's the Avery equivalent of of what's her of of Avery. That's that's the sword equivalent of Avery. That's oh, what's her name? Clara. I think her name's Clara. Honestly, I love Clara's design so much. I think we. I didn't think we'd be seeing Clara here. I thought you unlocked. Partners and raids after you do. Yeah, Clara. Like, I love Clara's design so much more than Avery. But, like, I like Zamazenta. Like, if I can switch Avery for Zamazenta, I, I mean, Avery for uh, Clara, I would. Because I love Clara's design. It's so nice. She's also just like that toxic bitch character. I just realized the only person that can Dynamax is Flygon. Earthquake? The 
this dude. No, target the fly god. Knock out the fly god. That is that. Don't use earthquake. Why would you use Earthquake? We, we, we need to do this raid as fast as possible. Please don't use Earthquake. Use like Rock Tomb or something. Flygon, what other moves does Flygon have? Flygon, Flygon. Assuming it's high level. Can't use Dragon Rush. Uproar. Earth power. Use Earth power. Earth power. Bug buzz. Boom burst. Bulldoze. No, actually, no, Bulldoze does also hit us. Dig, crunch, superpower, Fisher. Well, Fisher can't hit Dynamax. Anything but Earthquake. Why would you use Earthquake? Bro, really, we just wanted the Dynamax. Dynamax? He didn't Dynamax. He... Why didn't he Dynamax? The NPC is not gonna Dynamax. We are not winning this raid. Watch, Earthquake. You have Boom Burst. Boom Burst hits us too. You have anything that isn't a move that hits us. Please knock out Flygon. Thank you. Goodbye, flight. Like good rip. Oh my god. Why are we using Earthquake and Boom Burst in a raid? I just realized we keep, it keeps healing. We are not winning this fight. The only thing we're, we the only way we're gonna win if it if Flygon gets the healing cheer off. It would have been so much easier if he didn't start attacking us and Dynamax. He should have Dynamax. Why didn't he Dynamax? I'm so mad about that. Also, the earthquakes. And goodbye, Zash. Oh no, it's actually fine. Zash is very tight, so it's fine. Why did it restore so much HP? Oh, we lost. What the fuck?
Why? Guzzlord. Oh my god. I am mad. I am so mad at that raid. Is that a shit engine raid? That's a big thing. Do the cool fish one. No, wait, no, I wanted to back out. No, okay, that's fine. Well. I don't want to use this on Kubfu because it's so close to leveling up. Where's that Gigalith? Hello, Gigalith. You're going to do me a favor and level up Kubfu. Boing boing. Iron head. Break any sturdy it might have. Okay, okay, okay. Close combat. Knock it out. One hit. There we go. Goodbye, Gigalith. Maybe sort of sweet scent. Okay. Weird. Now we can use those rare candy. Which are level 70. Five more levels. And then we can do the tower. I really want to do the Shinja raid. Crustal. I'll do Crustal Raid if I... Um... One more attempt. One more attempt to join a door stove. That's not gonna work. Five levels. How do we get five levels? You just need to wait for this to reset. We need more stamps. We're just gonna head over to the tap dark tower. I'll probably give that to Hubfu. gonna wait up here. Cresselia? Ooh. Ooh. Arctovish. Twitch gyms. Okay, we'll do Appleton. We get this one? Good, 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 good. This, I'm gonna, I am gonna bring a turn for this one. It might not be that best of an idea. But that Dynamax Cannon, super effective. Uh, but we're weak to Dragon. Uh, but Dynamax Cannon, super effective. We should be fine. Come on, Victor. Ow, big stretch. Scrag, Scrafty. What a Scrafty get, that's... Fighting type. Scrag. You don't get any Dragonite. What moves do you get? I mean, you get Ice Punch. If it's Ice Punch Scrafty, then that'd be super effective. Sludge Bomb. Outrage. It gets Dragon Claw and Dragon Dance? Scrafty. 
Scrafty gets Dragon Claw, Dragon Dance, Dragon Pulse. Hello, Mewtwo. But it gets Dragon Claw? Why? Dude's got enough dragon moves that he has he can have a full dragon set. That is a shiny bolt out. Oh, it's shiny me too, okay. No little ching for the for shiny me too. No little ching. Dynamax coming full. Okay, Scrafty gets a lot of dragon moves and Ice Punch. Ice Punch would be the best move because it's four times super effective. What's your plan here, Scrafty? Did that Mewtwo use Hurricane? And then it missed. I guess first damage is me. This is gonna be a long one. Ba -da -ba. Max Grimmon, all oh, it is outrage. Okay, okay. Okay, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. using that I think on. Don't use hurricane. Like if it if it didn't work twice in a row. Very good. Flying. Hurricane. It's a seventy percent accuracy. Bro, use something else. Oblivion Wing. Pull, pull out the Evel Tall and use a Oblivion Wing. There goes the barrier, though. G Max Sweetness. Oh, it's Apple Seed. Dynamax can send him to the shower. Three in a row. Three moves in a row. How many PP does Hurricane have? Hurricane. Yeah, it's 10 PP. He's just gonna keep spamming Hurricane in. Use something other than Hurricane, something that actually helps. That should be our last Dynamax turn. Do that one? Yes, yeah, this, this is the last Dynamax turn, so Scrafty should be shrinking down now. Ooh, Bulldoze. Max uh, Appleton just looks so funny. Yeah, there he goes. Hello, 
was Scrafty. Dynamax Cannon. One more time. And then normal type hat. Oh, you're not gonna use Hurricane again, are you, Me Too? He's down. Ow. Please don't do it again. Oh, he actually landed it. Let's go. Me Too actually did something. Oh, vehemently. Scraggy. Nope. Dynamite Scatter. Let's go. Might actually be able to win. Oh, we are so winning this one. That should be its last shield. Damage and the defense lower. Get it, Scrafty. Knock it out. <laughs> yeah. And you were there too, Mewtwo. I'm gonna catch you. Ultra Ball. Let's go. I really don't want it to break out. I really don't want it to break out. I know it's a really low chance of it breaking out when it's a Dynamax catch. But there's always the chance. Ooh. Ah. We're good. My chair is falling apart. What the hell? Chair's like creaking. Like, wah, wah, wah. Hopefully that'll be enough to get Cub Food to 75. Hopefully. Hopefully. I don't think it'll be. Yeah. A couple more raids, probably. That was like a level exactly. Wow. Let me give you the iron. Okay. One more raid should be fine. One more raid should be fine. Give us something good. Locked. Locked. Are these by the same person? I mean, it's a different profile pick, but it's the same username. These are definitely by the same person. Nine tails. I think we might be able to. Wow. Oh, wow. Let's see. What do we have? Against the fire type. I think the only super effective move we actually have is Rillaboom with Stomping Tantrum. I think we go Eternatus again. And just Dynamax Cannon it. And I think that's our best bet. I'm out of energy drink. Unfortunate. Oh, he's got the Leon outfit. I'm pretty sure you get that when you beat the main story. But I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that's, the sh oh, that's shiny. Oh. Ooh, a shiny Dracovish. Well, that actually kind of looks kind of sick. With grays and browns, that's kind of sick, actually. All right, trying to send him to the Shadow Realm. I want to look at that. Let me pull Dracovish's Pokedex. Dragon. Dragon, dragon, dragon. like that shiny with the slight purple accent too? Yo. What about the other ones? Okay, Artifish? Artifish is kind of a play. A little bit more like, like less saturated. What about Arcazolt? Arcazolt just looks dead. Like it's like his body is all gray and stuff. It just actually just looks dead. Dracozolt, though. 
Dark Zolt was kind of funny. It, it's the Zolt part, the head, that makes it look dead, because it's all like, like light gray and stuff. Dracovish is still the coolest one in that town. Hand down, Dracovish take the cake when it comes to the shiny. There he is. I'm pretty sure Eternatus just gets like pink. Yeah, I get just. You no, know, I've never seen Kung Fu and Urshifu shinies. What do they look like? Okay, so like the yellow part on his face just gets like red. Or Kung Fu. Urshifu? It's the same thing. That's fine. Catch you with the heal ball. Yep. Honestly, some pretty underwhelming shinies for all the. Oh, what about Calrex? I never. Look, I didn't look at Calrex. I've never seen their shinies. Ooh. Glacier, oh, you poor, poor thing. That is literally no change. That is worse than Gengar. That is saying something. Oh, Spectrier. Oh, I like the red. Get Calrex. Okay, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's Calrex. Just gets like yellowish, like a deer, like a regular deer. Okay, as long as this gets us to like level 74, we should be fine. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna dump the rest of this into Kung Fu. Alright, now we're gonna heal and then we're gonna do the tower, finally. Yeah, take everybody out of the team first. A lot of you guys don't, are not supposed to be here. Hold on, let me just knock you guys out. Stay out of here. Bam, 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 bam. Hold on, I missed one. Come on, Zamazenta. Stay out. It is Cub Fu time. Is there an item we can give it? We have a good item. I don't think you can give it the fighting memory. We're gonna give it leftovers. Yeah, leftovers is like the only thing we can give it. We're going in. Tower of Darkness time. Oh, it's level 70. We could have stopped earlier. Uh, level 75, you know. Good stopping point, I guess. Good amount of XP. Safe. So we're safe. We should be fine. Walking only the path of light will not help broaden your perspective. You must learn to use both light and dark. Let me show you how. I have a funny bear with close combat. Oh, I should give it like Brick Break. Have like something assault fighting type other than close combat. And we have bulk up, so we should be fine. Oh, we have four close combats. I should have actually healed before we done this. Alright, that's battle one though. Light and dark, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, have it. we should have an ether. I think we have an ether. Good. Yeah, we have one. We're gonna wait to use that one till we're like up at the top. Floor two. Hello, you. Those strong in the darkness are also strong in the light. I have traveled the path of darkness and perfected my strength in the light. Behold. You're gonna sound like a scraggy or something. There it is, Scraggy. Now 
I'll say goodbye. Scraggy. No, I always forget Scraggy is a dark type. Like every time I see it, I think of fighting types, but I never think of Scraggy as a dark type. It's just some like I mean it, I know it's supposed to be a dark type. Like it's supposed to be like the punk kind of thing, so it's supposed to be a dark type. It just kinda like feels like a dark type, but also doesn't feel like a dark type at the same time, you get me? Like Like I know it's a dark type. Like, it just doesn't feel like a dark type. I always forget that. Scrafty, though. Scrafty is definitely a dark type. Ooh, Inke. That resists fighting. Or is it neutral? We're gonna find out. We're good. One more floor, I think. Now you can proceed to the fourth floor. Alright. After this, we need to prepare. Hello, you. Wind that carries a ship out to sea is wind that sh uh, stalls a ship returning to port. I mean, yeah, but... Sure. Rock a rock. Wow. You know, I've played through Sword and Shield so many times, and I've played through the Isle of Armor like so many times, and I think I've only done the Tower of Water like once. And that was for getting a water type Urshifu for my living decks. I think that was the only time I've ever done the Tower of Water. I, should pro I probably should have done that instead of the Tower of Dark. Alright. Now is when we prepare. We don't need to heal. Get back our close combats. Just a quick check, is there anything good we can give Cub Crew? The answer is a hard no. Alright, here we go. No other prep is needed. We're fine. Time for the final floor. I wonder who it could be. Oh, no way. Is that Mustard? No way. Hello, Mustard. There you are. I figured you'd choose the Tower of Darkness, so I decided to wait for you here. Mio, Kubfu, you've, do you've both done well to get this far. Ba bear Your final opponent is little old me. It's been a while since the last time I battled like this, but I think you can handle it. A stream too clear is a, is avoided by fish Pokemon. We all need some darkness in our in ourselves. Let me be the one to teach you the final lesson on the essence of darkness. All right, mustard. Dojo master mustard. When I first saw this fight, oh, I I just realized his hair is supposed to be the Dynamax Cloud. Oh my god. I need to get serious if I'm going to take you on. I just realized that. How have I never realized that? His hair is the Dynamax Cloud. Okay. That's, that's a neat detail. Let me guess what you're gonna do. Aerial Ace. That thing only has like Aerial Ace, Brick Break, Leer, and then like Endure, I think. I think that's Cub Fu's moves. But however, we have bulk up. So we are much stronger. Oh wow, it is a lot more than I thought. Nope, it has focus energy. What does focus energy even do? I know there's a couple moves that's like, oh, they're getting pumped, but what does focus energy even do? Focus 
energy is a normal type move. Focus energy. Increases user user's critical hit rate. Okay. And that's the Tower of Darkness done. You young folk grow so fast, it never ceases to amaze me. I just robbed the owner of the dojo. It's my dojo now. What a team. Impressive. Most impressive. Best of buds. Bro just was like shadow boxing. Bouncing, bouncing. I love Kofu. He's, like, he's just a cute little guy. Fair more. I knew you were worthy of my trust, Mio. You have done well, very well indeed, in raising this Kung Fu to this, to this level of strength. Leon was once my best student, a long time ago. He too attempted this trial. But he never made it to either tower, yet lost along the way. And now it's finally time for Kung Fu to evolve. Go and show Kung Fu the Scroll of Darkness. Kung Fu is ready now. It is time to show Kung Fu. A scroll. Do you, want Cub, do you want to show Cub Fu the Scroll of Darkness and have it evolve? Yes. Berm. Bermar. Ba bear. What? Cub Fu is evolving. Can I hit B? You cannot hit B. Unfortunate. However, our Kubfu has evolved into Urshifu. The Wushu Pokemon. Wicked Blow. Yes, I would like Wicked Blow. I'm gonna replace you for Bulk Up. I just think the dark type Urshifu is a lot cooler. Behold, before you stands Urshifu. Be sure to be unyielding armor that will shatter any blade turned against it. And it has mastered the style of darkness. Bid dark. Hi, you've certainly grown, haven't you? And to think not too long ago you would have run and hid behind me the moment you got scared. Indeed, no matter how old I get, witnessing somebody grow always brings joy to my heart. Mio, Urshifu, I thank you both from the bottom of my heart. Oh, I almost forgot. I give this to anybody who has faced me when I am taking battle seriously. And it's his league card, we gotta get the trading cards. Now then, let's head back to the dojo. We ride. Such talent and strength, perhaps the time has come. Maybe. And that is main story Isle of Armor. All that's left is Isle of Armor post game. Which we will be doing a different time. Because we've been going on long enough. Three hours now. Oh, I am in needing of a stretch. Thank you all for stopping by. I am going to save before I forget. There we go. Thank you all for stopping by. I had a good time. Ne next time we'll be doing post-game Isle of Armor. And yeah. I'll see you all then. Uh, bye bye um, Bye-bye. Well, yeah, next time post-game Isle of Armor and maybe start a Crown Tundra. Bye-bye.